with Shade of Boo, you better catch them vibes, yeah, man. So yeah, uh, so yeah, let's we got to clear the air, man, because it's 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 a lot of uh, use the word janky earlier. Um, <laughs> it's a it's a lot of promoting promoters going against other promoters and yeah. such and such, man. I'm gonna let you. Uh, so you just, just for stupid reasons, dog. You're rocking with Sir Quentin Best. Of the best entertainment. Shut up and hustle. Best of the best entertainment presets. Your feature presentation. What up, Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Sir Quentin from Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we got a promoter, rapper, entertainer, CEO yeah. of the Vibes. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Thank you for coming yeah. to the show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you're talking to the mic. Uh, so, yeah. um, formally introduce yourself. All right, I go by Shada Boo. Well, well, you know, Shada Boo the Boo. If you know me for real, you're going to call me Boo. But yeah, I do promotion. I'm an artist first. I do in, all around entertainment. Shit, acting, I do flyers. I'm a graphic designer. I'm a I'm, I'm a shit. I'm here. <laughs> one one stop shot. One yeah. stop shot, man. <laughs> yeah. Remember, y'all try to pin us against each other. Now we in the same right. room, that man. Man, this shit in y'all ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so where did where did name come from? I gotta ask that. Uh, the vibes. I we I started with um Millie Malay and Jay Harmony, and it was just a vibe. So we was just sitting there one day like shit. We gonna be called the vibes. And that's just how we ended up vibing. And then eventually, you know what I'm saying? We got different branches. So eventually we just building under our umbrellas. You know what I'm saying? So it's a whole movement now. You know what I mean? What was those, what was those names again? You said you started with who? Millie Malay and okay. Jay Harmony. Okay, facts, facts. Yeah, so we just started building off that. So now it's getting bigger and bigger. Everybody know the vibes now. You know what I'm saying? So we just keep building. Yeah. You know? So how did y'all how did y'all start the whole movement? Y'all just like... Well, <laughs> I was um, I was dealing with with um, with Millie, and then we met Jay Harmony at a show, and then me and him ended up doing a feature, and then we just got the vibe, and then we all three of us started vibing. So you using that word strong, yeah. strong. So you said y'all was dealing. So like, how did the music start? Like, is that something y'all both that's was passionate? Yeah, yeah, that's how we met at um, shout out party girl. We met at Damn, party. Damn, I ain't heard that name. <laughs> <laughs> That's how long it's been. Shice. Yeah. Party Girl did a uh, March Madness back in what, like 2018, I want to say. Yeah, and I met her there. And shit, we just started chilling after that. Writing music, doing music together, vibing out. Like, I use vibe a lot. That's my shit. Right. So we basically started vibing together and shit, and then making music and linking with other artists. Shit, Jay Harmony, he just. I don't know. His sound was good with mine. Facts. So. Facts. So let's talk about this event coordinating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is it get sticky? No, I ain't finna get sticky. But like, what what made you jump into event coordinating? Um, I actually took on a strong role as I, I became a parent in like fifteen minutes. My sister had ended up going to jail, so I ended up taking custody of her son. So I like I'm I couldn't do the shit that I wanted to do, like travel and all that. So I was like. How can I stay on the scene, you know, and stay relevant to everybody else still and to just give artists somewhere to perform? Because it was nowhere for, that, for them to perform for a long time without nobody being janky and shit like that. So I just started doing it. First, I was I linked up with um one promoter and I was judging his events. And then um, I ended up linking with another promoter and started hosting these events. But when I realized I was doing every damn thing, I was like, shit, I might as well do it myself. <laughs> oh, God. You know Touch your head. Oh, God. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> so I'm like, shit, I might as well do it myself. And then that's when I just started doing the shit, just taking off with it, like making sure that I make artists feel comfortable, creating a safe setting for them to come be able to pop their shit, like, you know, just get everything off. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah, man. In case y'all just now tapping in, man, we with Shade of Boo. You know the vibes, man. You already know, man. Yeah, we're going to talk more about her clearing the air with these other promoters right after this commercial break. Yeah. It's back to school season. If you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. 
You can reach me on Instagram at finewine underscore ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within the shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client and we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. For fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. Located inside Salon Solo at 6329 West Greenfield Avenue in beautiful West Dallas, Wisconsin. Book your haircut experience on the Cut app today or call 414-687-3940. Remember, for fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. See you soon. Yo, yo, yeah, welcome back from commercial break. Yeah, we with Shade of Boo. You better catch them vibes, yeah, man. So yeah. Uh so yeah, let's we gotta clear the air, man. Cause it's 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 a lot of uh use the word janky earlier. Um <laughs> it's a it's a lot of promoting promoters going against other promoters and yeah. such and such, man. I'm gonna let you uh tell you for just, there. just for stupid reasons though. A lot of people think, oh, I'm competing with them on certain shit. I ain't got no reason to, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times I see artists to other venues, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I, especially if I'm not doing nothing, yeah, go on over there to woo woo or woo, you know what I'm saying? Go tap in. I ain't, I can't help you right now, you know what I'm saying? It's no reason for for people to be like, oh, don't go do that venue or don't go do that. That's just stupid. Because yeah. if you want to see artists grow, you gonna help them grow. Absolutely. But other people be having other agendas. They be thinking about that little cash and shit. Only reason why I be like shit. Pay the dough and, and pay for flyers because shit, a lot of times I'm coming out of my pocket paying to rent out a venue for the night. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? So I was like, shit, I ain't finna lose. I'm finna keep losing. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't take that crap serious. Right. Some people don't even show up. You right. know what I mean? So And yeah. that's crazy. That's the like the crab in the bucket uh, mentality. Cause uh, you know people at the bottom they fight and shit. Like when you elevate, yeah. like people at the top, we we collaborate. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. And, and that's 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 beautiful that you you know what I'm saying that you sending them sending them that yeah, way. You know what I'm saying? I'm always saying like if I can't do it, somebody else can. Even like if I ain't got time to do a flyer, I'm seeing to somebody else that do a cover art shit like that. Like right, it's all about working together. I don't network with people to not help them out. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I be my play before. Right. You know what I mean? So shit. besides them trying to pin us against each other, you had any other run-ins with promoters or people trying to put pin y'all against each other? Um, no, nope. motherfuckers usually just hang themselves. <laughs> and then you know what I'm saying? It's like shit. I'm gonna talk to you directly. It ain't nothing like nobody can go and tell you this or tell nah. Once I hear about it and I address you and you say, we, we, yeah, you fucked yourself. Right. I can't fuck with you no more. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, I try. And then, even then, I still be like, I ain't doing shit. Check out this punk ass nigga. <laughs> Gone over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, even then, because I, I, I just, it's not in me to be no hater. Yeah, you know facts, what I'm saying? Like, facts. shit, we all trying yeah, to grow. Business is business, business yeah. is that at the end of the day. We're trying to grow and get the fuck up out of here. We all need each other help. Right. You know what I mean? All right, so back to music. You still do music, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> so you took a break from music. Like, yeah, um, yeah. What, what made you take that high edit? Made you take that break? That's what I was just telling you about my me having to step up and be a parent. So mm -hmm. I've been a parent for like the past three and a half, four years. Just getting to it. Like, I was still doing music, but then I realized how hard it was having a toddler. Like, I had my nephew since he was four months old. Mm -hmm. When he four now, he be five. I'm like, shit, this shit hard. You then said they, it's hard, but what made you start like want to promote for other artists though? I was promoting for myself. It it was a way to keep me relevant and also be able to network with other people. You know what I'm saying? So I like to stay consistent in a lot of shit. And since I couldn't go and do what I want, needed to do because like even with finances, it's okay to drop a few hundred for a venue but then when you want to get that quality video or that quality sound and shit like that like take more than that it's like shit you want to you want to do studio time or you want to buy some pull-ups nigga you, <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i had to Real balance spirit. that out like a lot of times when that covid especially when covid hit like i couldn't go to work because like if his nose was running or something i i had to make my money off the back end it was like 
Man. Shit, and I got to get to it either way, but I still want to stay relevant. You know what I mean? So that's why I was just doing stuff for other people too also. So it's like, shit, you help me, I help you. Right. You know what I mean? So why not? If I got the people that I know, like probably like 6,000 people, probably like 20 of them is people that's looking, they doing shows and they got all this other stuff going on. Mm -hmm. They looking at y'all too. Whatever yeah. I post, they going to follow. You Real know what still. I'm saying? So like, that's all I be trying to do is help people. We need to elevate as a city. Everybody don't be looking at that shit that way. They want to compete. Yeah, you know, facts. Why you want trying to compete with a motherfucker that's trying to help you? So I heard you briefly say, uh, like, how you got your start. But, like, how old were you when you started music? Music? Oh, yeah. man. Me and my cousin was like. I'm going to sit back. This is going to be a story <laughs> right here. <laughs> we was like seven and eight. Banging on pots and pans. We was recording on a boom box over my mama's favorite shit. She used to be mad as hell. <laughs> <laughs> she used to be pissed off. She heard us on there trying to rap and shit. <laughs> oh, y'all was re actually recording? We was recording. <laughs> my brother be on the pots and the pans and shit. Me and my cousin rapping like, hey, A, B, C, oh, just uh, going in. We uh, like, just trying, yeah, though. You know nice. what I mean? But yeah, we started at a young age. And I kept like giving up. So by the time I was like, I want to say like 17, 18, I got a little more serious, but I still wasn't there yet. So by the time I was like 21, that's when I really was like, okay. Hold well, on, what's a little bit serious? serious? Like you had stuff scribbled in your notebook. You was in the studio. You got songs recorded. You're like, man, we need that story. Yeah, okay, <laughs> so, okay, put it like this. When I was in the ninth grade, I was probably what, like 15, 14, 15. Mm -hmm. I recorded my first song off that uh Gucci man, is you rolling? Yeah, ooh, it was called is, is We Beefing, <laughs> me and my cousin. And I stayed in Texas. So when I got back to school one day, everybody at school was rapping my shit. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. uh, like this shit didn't make it. Way yeah. over, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, So I was like, okay, I'm gonna take it serious. But then I ended up getting more conscious. And like a lot of people was like, not a lot of people, just the people I was doing music with. They mm -hmm. was like, no, you got to rap about this or that. So my dumb ass rapping about shooting and, and popping a nigga and running. Ah. Come on now, you know what I'm saying? Shit don't even sound right. So yeah. and not just like completely just branched off. That's when I hey, found. Hey, put the mic a little bit closer to you too. Um, and I completely just like branched off. That's when I found my sound. Like, shit, let's take off with this. So what kind of what kind of music do you or message do you think you try to convey to your listeners now? Um, I'm more of a storyteller. So like a lot of shit that I go through in my music, they be like, shit, you help me through a lot of shit. So basically I'll be I'll be helping people I don't even be knowing. So the, anything like that I was put in my music, it is to help a motherfucker get over it. Get yeah. over what they going through. Like people got people backstabbing them they got fake friends all that i rap about all that shit you know yeah, what i'm facts. saying because i've been through it so if somebody can relate and shit it's on like listen to this right. you know what i'm saying getting your getting your zone and just be like fuck everybody you yeah, know what i'm saying real, so shit, if it's a therapy for you listen to that shit like anything i could do to help you know what i mean real, real. and then like a lot of times when people do type of music that i do they be like I don't even like I don't even be knowing that it's helping other people. But it's right. helping other people. Right. That shit be crazy. Like You fooled me. I was listening to your music. And I'm like, man, you sound like you like from the Bronx, from the yeah, East Coast or something say like that. that. <laughs> everybody said You that. are from Milwaukee though, right? Yeah. Okay. For sure. For sure. Yeah, for but sure. that's where the support at. Like all in New York. Like even when I look at my analytics, all that other stuff, like, yeah, they really fuck with me out there. Yo, yo, yeah, so we kicking it with Shay the Boo, you know, the vibes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got some more questions. We got our word segment coming up right after this commercial break. Yeah. Finest Wine Crystal here with Best of the Best TV, where we interview entrepreneurs who've shown consistent dedication to their work. We assist others in marketing by exposing you on all successful platforms and your favorite podcast apps, as well as a special segment titled Artist of the Month, where we honor artist achievements. Contact our host, Sir Quentin Gladney, by visiting bestofthebesttv.com or email 414liftoff at gmail.com today. Yo, yo, welcome back from commercial break. We with Shay the Boo. So uh, you said your analytics came from, you got people on the East Coast and all that kind of stuff like mm -hmm. that? I did a, um, 
song with um, this guy from Australia. Aust was it Australia? Yeah, Australia. Yeah, and th that joint crazy too. What? Yeah, like it, I be networking like a motherfucker. Where is it at? I got it. I got it. Here, there you go. See me there. <laughs> I'ma look. His name is Complex. I'ma look. Um, I'ma look on his IG because I don't think that because we supposed to do a video, so it was kind of like. I was supposed to send him some clips. He was supposed to put all that oh, shit together. So, man. and he didn't, I didn't talk to him about releasing it. So he better not have released it yet, but I'll let you hear it. Yeah, I fast. got, I still got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll let you hear man, that. I'm mad. I'm crippled, man. You know, I'm a cameraman, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah. She know I'm a cameraman. You like, know listen. What? I be seeing like, um, cause you just recently added me on Facebook and I was looking like when I catch your pictures, I react to them like, oh, okay, God. A lot of uh professional pictures and shit like that. Yeah, I I'm go like, oh, crazy. Okay. Yeah, some kind of. That's so yeah, man, we in a, <laughs> <laughs> we in the word segment brought to you by my girl DJ. We finna have some fun with it. So I'm gonna have to let you spin this wheel three times. There's some personal uh words on here, and you just let me know what you think about them. All right. I can't see it though. Okay, you can you could spin around, or you could have your lovely assistant over here help you. Okay. All right. What we got? What is that? Woo! Relationships. What about what's, them? What's your, that, that's what I'm asking you. That's what the, the will is asking you. What's your take on relationships? Um, like a relationship between like um. You can take it how you want to. Family. You can take it with love, like intimately. You can take it wherever you want to go. Um, with it. A relationship is just what it is. It's it's a relationship. Whatever your relation is to that person, whether it's your woman, your man, your cousin, your brother, sister, whatever. But at the end of the day, loyalty. You know what I'm saying? In a relationship, you have to be loyal. Relationship is loyalty to me. So yeah, that's that's how it's gonna go. Build that off, whatever. Yeah, fast. Get loyalty. your second spin. <laughs> See, I ain't lingering long on that one. I got tons. <laughs> the word is art. Art. Life. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> elaborate. Elaborate. Everything That's deep. Is art. Yeah. Everything is art. I mean shit, you can walk past somebody in this picture perfect, the grass is green or it's bald here, shit. That's life stress, depression. I think it, I know what you're trying to say. Yeah, like you look at everything, everything is art. art. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's that's deep. That's deep. Yeah. Kind of fry my brain on that one. Go, <laughs> go ahead and get your third spin. <laughs> Look, I ain't practiced that neither. No, nah, that was right <laughs> off the tin eye. It's, it's bothering you, love. 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 Love is an emotion. That's it. That's deep, that's deep too. That's an emotion. I mean, shit, it's, it's all about feeling what you feeling at the moment. Because one day I could be like, I love somebody so much and the next day I'll be like, fuck these motherfuckers. So, it's <laughs> it's definitely a thin line. Yeah, it's definitely like, a thin yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is a thin line. So shit, love is an emotion that can be changed. Love ain't supposed to hurt, but some people make it hurt. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's how I know it's just an emotion because motherfuckers just treat that foul letter word like it ain't shit. Whoa, brain fried. That's the word segment with Shayna Boo. <laughs> and we caught them vibes. Yeah, you hear me? No. Brought to you by my girl DJ, man. So let's jump back into these questions, man. So, um, what events you got coming up? Um, I got, um, well, it depend on when you... You be outside, damn it. Don't sit here and be <laughs> modest, man. You um, be outside. <laughs> I got an event coming up on September 2nd mm -hmm. called The Show. It's, it's The Show, so I got my man Bendo 4 on 4 coming through. Um, a lot of great artists from MKE, Green Bay, Appleton. I got them coming through this time, so that's definitely uh, one that's coming up. And then um, I'm working on a female takeover with Kaylee Crossfire. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, heal my leg. I'm supposed to be in there doing interviews too, oh, man. Yeah. yeah, it's green light. Yeah, yeah. so yep, I'm um, I'm the musician coordinator for that. Yeah, so I'm helping her out with that. Hey, you deserve it, man. I'm going to give yeah. you your shit. You deserve I, I it, I love man. Kaylee. You know, she, she, a lot of people don't know Kaylee helped me. She, she taught me a lot, like how to perform and all that. No way. Yeah, like she was in that motherfucker like, again. What? <laughs> like, uh, Shout out Kaylee, man. Yeah, that's for real. Crazy. That's, my, that's, that's my sister. I love her. Shout out G-Ball. She already know the vibes. 
Yeah, she she helped me through a lot of shit and, and coached me through a lot of stuff, especially life stuff. Like, that's my nigga, on the real. I ain't gonna lie. Jeez. So I got, yeah, the female takeover. It's something else I got coming up. Can't think of it right now. You know, I got the events once a month. So, um, yeah, the female takeover, the show coming up. I was supposed to go to the UMAs this year, but it's on the same exact day as the female takeover. Oh, my At God. At the same exact time. That's I in the A, right? That's yeah, in Atlanta. Yeah. Wow. So, I had already agreed to terms with Kaylee. So, I'm like, shit. Uh, you got to put on for your city, too, Absolutely. man. Shout just out to you. Shout out to Bernard Moore for the, for the opportunity. Shout out to man. Real, real. They speak my manager, man. Yeah. You know that? Yeah, for oh, real. <laughs> yeah, when I was doing the music, man. Speaking of music, any uh, projects you got coming up regarding music? Um, yep, I'm working on a project called Reloaded. So this Oof. this is my comeback album. You know, Oof. I might change the. Don't quote me on the title because it might change as I get, finish. You know, with the album, but is, is it mixtape or album? No, it's gonna be an album. Gonna be all, I'm doing man. everything by being on the other side of this shit, like learning all the paperwork, all the shit that I need to go through, how I need to register stuff. Like I'm, I'm gonna do it the correct way this time. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So. I ain't got no time for no fuck ups. Oh yeah, you might have to come uh, let me sauce one of them beats for you though. Oh, yeah. Something like that. I'm gonna tap in with you. I ain't, like even, I ain't know you did as much shit that you do. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm tune. I appreciate that. So um like what engineers and producers you plan on working with? First of all, hold on. Second of all, what producers and engineers have you worked with? Um, I've been working with AK Went Crazy, uh Dr. Blade, um, I got a few beats still from KCO. May rest in peace. Ah, size. Um, bring a couple of them out. You know what I mean? Um, I really like to work with the producers that know my sound already. You know, mm -hmm. so we could figure out ways to bring it out more. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And like my cousin KK went crazy. She she do she do just that. You know what I mean? So a lot of a lot of my um, tracks are produced by her. Okay, okay. So um, we can see that you big on like bringing hip hop back. Like, what's the importance of um, bringing hip hop back? Um, music with a meaning. You know what I mean? A lot of the music that people listening to today is making these, is fucking these kids up. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Like, we got to change that shit. Like, we can't keep letting our kids listen to certain shit. Then y'all wondering why the kids are damn bad. Because look at what y'all listening to. Right. What y'all got them listening to. So, bringing back just that music with meaning. Just real hip-hop. Like, going in, giving it to them raw. Like, I want to bring that back. And it's, it's hard. It's real hard. Because they stuck on that mumble shit or that auto-tune. You can't even understand what they saying. Right. But these little kids know what the fuck they man, saying. That's the crazy part. They do, man. And I, I'll be like, what the fuck? Right. Is <laughs> who who they, from the city on your playlist right now? Shit, I got CEO Youngin, Miss Loyal, shit, Brad Facts. Shout out Miss Loyal. Shout out Brad. What up? Um, Katie Crossfire, Kia Rap Princess. Jeez. Shit, I got... I fuck with Bando four on four. If y'all know who he is, tap in. Um, shit, it's a it's a. I I listen to like a lot of local artists. You know what I mean? Facts. Yeah, I'm I'm big on on that on that supporting my supporting my peers. Like shit, yeah, I I listen to a lot of people. Shit. On what though? Yeah, Destiny Lynn. Shit, I listen Shout to. Out to you, I'll be forever. Right. I'll be forever, man. I ain't gonna lie, but them the main ones, the ones I you just support mentioned. the city though. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I do. Like That's a motherfucker. They don't even know it. But yeah, I support them. Like shit. If they don't know, they they feeling enough <laughs> on the real. So I think I pretty much asked this question, but what what's what's next for Shader Boo? Like what like where do you see yourself like in the next five years? Where are you trying to take this? I, I don't even think that I'll be in Milwaukee, to be honest. I, I could see myself somewhere else, somewhere higher. Wrong one built in a day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, spell. But I want to take some people with me when I do leave. You know what I mean? I, I, it's only so much you can do right. in a city where people feel like, oh, you got to be this type of way or that type of way to be somebody here. Yeah. You know, I'm just, I don't see myself here. I right. see myself elevating on different levels. Like, Shit, I'm trying to be performing on the BT stage, or you know what I'm saying? For real spill, I see that too. Like, for real, for real, like no bullshit. I'm trying to make some shit happen. Who's somebody you ain't work with in the city that you that you want to work with? <laughs> I 
Yeah, I want to yes. work with Kia. <clears throat> I, Ooh, got my, I got my geez. little cash ready. Jeez. I got my little cash ready, <laughs> KRP. <laughs> yeah, I want to work with Kia bad. And then the, the, the price then went up. <laughs> Jeez. Yesterday's price is not today's price. <laughs> yeah, the price went up. Shit, she, uh, she did her thing. She opened up for the, for the city girls and A Boogie with the hoodie and all them. You know what I'm saying? I respect whatever price she gonna. Go. I'm gonna pay that motherfucker because that's my sis. I love her, but I'm gonna respect her as an artist too. You know what I'm saying? So never. I got. I got to save up like another two hundred, and then I'm hit you. Facts, facts, <laughs> facts. So tell us a little bit. There's something else about you before we have our little last minute shout outs. You hear me? I mean, shit. I think we pretty well, much. Where I find you at? All that, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, I, I just be expecting everybody to know and shit. <laughs> so you catch me on Facebook, Shada Boo Williams, Instagram, The Boo Vibes, all together, D A B O O V I B E Z. Uh, YouTube, they created a page for me. It's one called Shada Boo, another one, The Boo Space Vibes. Shit, everything is Shada Boo. If you type in Shada Boo, I'm going to come up. You could, Matter of fact, Google me. Yeah, facts. Google shows <laughs> shows be crazy, yeah. for real. Shows be crazy, man. You already know, man. We rocking out with Shada Boo. I'm going to let you do, drop your slogan. You know the vibes. <laughs> you already know. Look, look, catch this vibe. Catch the vibe. <laughs> <Stop that. laughs> Dang, catch real. this vibe. I know you got shirts and shit. I need a shirt Hell and stuff, yeah. man, for real. Yeah, already. I got you, bro. Facts, facts, I man. But we rocking out with bestofthebesttv.com. Y'all stay tuned on bestofthebesttv.com. We got a new um artist singers competition coming up we're gonna be dropping that real soon so y'all stay tuned for that you already know what time it is your boy sir quentin Shh, shut up and hustle yeah you're rocking with sir quentin best that's the best entertainment shut up and hustle shut up and hustle shut up and hustle shut up and hustle Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. I tell them I'm like, shut up and hustle.